oh my God, like, I haven't spent time with my friends in a while. I haven't done my own hobbies in a while. I haven't gone on a walk by myself in a while. I don't know how to do anything alone anymore. That might be when you're like, oh, okay, I should probably take a breath and like remember that I'm my own individual person and that that's good. The challenge in giving yourself space and kind of knowing the boundaries is that you also want to build a good foundation as a couple. So I think that's really why it's difficult sometimes for people to give each other space. Especially these days with everything that's going on in the world, people like couples are always together yeah. if they live together. Even though you're building a foundation together as a couple and that's important to have that unity, it's also important to maintain your individuality to have the things that you do apart. Your life is not just the relationship, your life is also, you know, life. So that need to really also focus on yourself, know who you are, know what you love to do, what, what are your boundaries, that's so important no matter what stage of relationship you're at. And what it gives you is an opportunity to regulate your emotions. If you're always with someone, you can't really think with yourself about yourself and what you've been through. Uh, or what you're going through. You need that time to be with yourself and and kind of help yourself comprehend everything that's going on. If you're constantly with each other, it doesn't necessarily give you the chance to, to just charge your own batteries. It's like, you know, when you're, you wanna be on your phone, but you also have to charge it. And because you're using it while you're charging, charging it, it like, it hits up too much. Yeah. It's exactly like that. Like you need, <laughs> You're the same way your phone needs time alone to charge normally. <laughs> it's like that in relationships. That's so true. Or like when or when the battery isn't really charging up as fast. Yeah. Like it still charges, it's just not as quick. Exactly. And it's like the same thing. Like if you were to just leave your phone alone for two seconds. And you know, it's it's and it gets to a point where it's uncomfortable to hold your phone when it's like so <laughs> overheated. I didn't think of it like that. But me me neither. Yeah. What are the methods, the tricks, the tips, the hacks for really maintaining space? The first thing you have to learn or recognize is your own need for space. When we got married and we moved in together, it took me a long time to realize what was happening to me. I was, I was like all over the place in my own head. And a big reason for that was I wasn't allowing myself to feel like I need to be with myself. I think there's a lot of guilt attached to it because especially when you were working at your previous job, there was this feeling that we didn't have enough time together as it was, so we had to take any moment we possibly could get and spend it together. It's also like a tricky thing because I wanted to be with you because I haven't yes. seen you like since you said goodbye to me in the morning, but mm -hmm. I also wanted, I needed time for myself and it's hard a hard um balancing act yeah english the next phase of it is us learning of the other's need like if i need it then you mm -hmm. probably need it too yeah and i think both can be equally difficult to mm -hmm. learn it was basically like nothing's wrong nothing's wrong nothing's wrong nothing's wrong and it's like a it's like a kettle that's like a, it's about to shriek <laughs> <laughs> nothing's nothing's wrong nothing's wrong ah! all i had to do was say oh, hey, I need a few minutes by myself. Yeah, and that would have been and enough. And it can be just a few minutes. Uh, sometimes, yeah. like in my case, it has to be <laughs> a few hours. But um, <laughs> yeah, it it's, has a lot to do with respect. For yourself as well, though. I think it's for yourself and for the other person. Yeah, and, and I think the ability to talk freely and, and openly, if that's a word, with, with your partner. Um, it is a word. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, in English. And then in terms of actual tips and tricks, all of that, like how do you do it? There are several ways. I think the first thing I would say is sometimes, especially at the beginning, Elon learned to say, I'm gonna go to the grocery store for a few minutes. And you know, that's also was a tricky thing because it took me a while to understand that I was doing a good thing and not just leaving you in the middle of a, yeah. right. I mean, it depends on how it's done. If you mm -hmm. had said, I'm leaving, slam the door, you know. You can feel when your partner needs like a moment. There's more than just taking that moment to breathe. You have to keep your own hobbies. Again, like staying the same person you were, 
um, you know, video games, writing, um, whatever music. it is. Yeah, music, <laughs> even watching your own TV shows or favorite YouTube channels, like and subscribe. Um, <laughs> whatever it is, you should keep doing these like self hobbies to maintain your sanity. If you want to take it a step further, you can even sign up to your own activities, things like that. Hanging out, obviously, with your friends, your group of friends, not bringing your partner along every time you go out, right? Like, I think that's yeah. something some people yeah, course, do, where they're course, like, course. any single, any party, any event, can my boyfriend come? Like, yeah. you know, and you're like, girl, this is a girl's Please only don't. night. Like, yeah. what, are you, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. it, like. Learning that not everything involves your partner, you know, you're still you. It is completely normal that at the beginning of a relationship, you begin spending a little less time with other people, you're a little obsessed with the other person. But once you're together for a little bit, you might begin noticing, oh my God, like, I haven't spent time with my friends in a while. I haven't done my own hobbies in a while. I haven't gone on a walk by myself in a while. I don't know how to do anything alone anymore. That might be when you're like, oh, okay, I should probably take a breath and like remember that I'm my own individual person and that that's good. And that when I'm my best individual self, I'm also bringing that into the relationship and making the relationship mm -hmm. stronger. Cause when you're only kind of half of yourself, and you're bringing half of yourself to the table, it exactly. that also so impacts strong. the relationship. That is so strong. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's something I think like we experienced. Yeah, we did a little bit. Learning from it is the most important part. Yeah. Taking that journey and saying, oh my gosh, we're learning about ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. I'm Ayla. And I'm Chaya. And together, we, we are, are the Albies. Albies.